Hello, this is Apostle Prophet Mufaro Maposa speaking to you. I'm with my wife, Mrs. Matumelo Maposa. We believe that you'll enjoy this DVD. We're very happy that you have this DVD and we believe that it's going to benefit you a lot. So please relax, sit down and watch it. We would love to hear from you how it has affected your Lord, life. Today, Thank you. In the name of our wonderful Lord Jesus Christ, this is Apostle Prophet Mufaro Maposa speaking to you today. Today I want to talk to you about the Manifest Sons of God movement. What is the Manifest Sons of God movement and what is the vision and all about the movement? Manif the Manifest Sons of God movement is a movement that God used me to birth in Lesotho in 2006. The Lord gave me this revelation from 2003, but I got the complete revelation in 2005. So it actually took me three years to get the complete revelation and its demonstrations and teachings and that. In 2006, I started the movement in Lesotho, and now the movement has grown all over the country, and now it's going, to, it's going into other countries as well. The Manifest Sons of God movement is a movement that brings the grace of God to all who accept it. The aim or the vision of the movement is to raise every believer to the dimension of operating as a son of God and of working in the fullness of what Christ has given to us as his church. The Bible says that Jesus came to give us what he has. You know, he didn't just come to die for our sins. Dying for our sins was not the end. It was a means to an end. The end was that we should become sons of God like him. And when the Bible talks about sons of God, it's not talking about gender, but it's talking about inheritance. So if you want to use gender language, you can say sons and daughters of God, it's fine. As long as you understand that both sons and daughters of, daughters of God have the same inheritance in Christ. So, it, this movement is based on Romans chapter 8, verse 19, which says, All creation waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. According to the Bible, we see that God wants us to operate in the dimension that Jesus Christ operated in. He came to give us the fullness of God, the fullness of the glory of God. The glory of God is the manifest presence of God. So I've written books of the movement. We have this book called the International Training Center, the Manifest Sons of God International Training Center. And then there's a smaller book written, Training Center Manual. It's called the Manifest Sons of God Movement. The smaller book, the white book, is the summary of this big book. Everything that is contained in the big book is also in the small book, but in a summarized way. This big one, you have to read this book while listening to the DVD that goes with it. It goes with two DVDs. The first DVD is the audio teachings that are in the book. Then the other DVD is the practicals of the things that we teach here. We talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the operations of the Holy Spirit, the science of the Holy Spirit, how to hear God. I mean, there are how many teachings here? There are about a lot of teachings. We cover almost everything. When I wrote this book, the Lord told me to go through the New Testament. I went through the New Testament and every teaching that is a that's a teaching on its own. I made a teaching about it. For example, it talks about the believer's authority. When you read the book of Ephesians, it talks about the believer's authority. I made the teaching of the believer's, of the believer's authority. It talks about our inheritance. I made the teaching of the inheritance of the Son of God. So there's a teaching here, which is the foundational teaching called the Manifest Sons of God. That's where we talk about who you are in Christ, who you are as a son, what you have, how to move in the gifts, how to move in the operations of the Holy Spirit, how to hear the Holy Spirit. This is the how part. We teach the how part. This movement, in this movement, every believer is activated to move in the gifts and signs of the Holy Spirit. And believers are trained to, to, to mature to the level of sonship, to move from babyhood to sonship stage. I mean, we have spiritual infants, we have spiritual babies, we have spiritual teenagers, then we have spiritual sons and daughters. And the aim of this movement is to get every, every believer to work in the realm of sonship, where they manifest and demonstrate the reality as sons of God, just like Jesus Christ. Now, this practical DVD that, that you are watching goes with an audio DVD like this and also um, a training center manual. You have to get three of them as a set or either you get it with the international training center manual and the audio DVD. Now, if you've gotten the practical DVD with the, with the, with the manual, 
you have to go through the whole manual and also the audio DVD, listen to the audio DVD in totality and also read the manual uh, and then write an exam before you can get a membership card if you are a member of New Testament Church. See, the, the manual explains only a little bit. For example, in the manual, you read something like uh, faith rules and reigns. Then it just explains a bit of that. But in the audio DVD, I explain how faith rules and reigns. I can take four, three minutes or even five minutes explaining how you rule by faith. So if you just read the book, you just got about 10% or 5% of the teaching because everything is explained thoroughly in the audio DVD. Now go through the, 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 the training center manual and the audio DVD. Listen to the whole DVD in totality in the given order. If it's the first time that you're listening to it, then after that you can listen to it as you will, but you have to listen to it regularly. Then after that you write a, an exam and then get a membership card if you are a New Testament church member. Right. Only after you've written the exam of the manual and the audio DVD can you get a membership card. Then after that, get, you have to go through the International Training Center that equips you for leadership. Now the International Training Center goes with the same audio DVD. Actually, this audio DVD was recorded from this manual. This is the bigger manual. Actually, the, the Training Center manual is just a summary of this International Training Center manual. So you have to get the International Training Center manual go through the international training center manual see that one trains you for leadership so if you feel that god has called you uh, into leadership or maybe to pastor or you are called into one of the fivefold ministry offices or you want to pastor a branch or you want to pastor one of our branches now you have to go through the international training center manual with its audio dvd and then pass the international training center with 85 percent upwards then you get an international training center certificate that that shows that you are trained you are equipped now we know that you can be used for, 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 for big tasks in New Testament church. And also I would love to know you personally as well. Now, uh, the International Training Center. Now, even if you have not gone, even if you have not done the Training Center manual yet alone, but then you do the International Training Center one, that will be much better because then the International Training Center involves the Training Center. It, it includes the, the Training Center manual. So if you go through the International Training Center, it's much better then because you cover two at one time. Because it includes the Training Center manual, you have to go with it. Uh, and also the audio DVD, as I said that, you have to read the manual as you are listening to the audio DVD. Um, that's how you read the International Training Center. And as I'm reading in the book, you read with me and listen as I teach to the DVD. Sometimes I'll stop and explain something that's not in the book. You have to stop and listen to the examples that I make or whatever I explain. Then after that, I'll tell you that we are going, we continue in the book. Then you have to go back to the book and read the book. The way to do the book is to go through the book while you listen to the audio DVD. And then after that, you have to write an exam on it. That's the best way that you can go through the International Training Center. Now, I want you to communicate with me personally. I want us to have a personal communication with you. And I know that we already have thousands of members in New Testament Church, but I want to, to, to know you personally because I want to know how this teaching has affected you, how it is building you up. Because, see, God has called me to see that you grow in your faith. And if you are called by God, I want you to tell me, there's my SMS line. That's my number that you can SMS me. SMS me on that number. I will surely respond to you. I want to know how you are growing. You know, as you do the training center and the audio DVD or the international training center, I want to know how you are growing. And, you know, tell me, as you watch this practical DVD, watch it over and over and over again because that will make it easy for you to flow in what you see there. And everything that, I, that I'm doing in the practical DVD, I've explained it in the international, in the audio, audio DVD. You know, in the practical DVD, you'll see me prophesying to people, healing the sick and that. But in the audio DVD, I explain how to do that, the how part. So make sure that you listen to this audio DVD regularly and watch the practical DVD over and over and over again, knowing that you can do the same things because as you watch it, you know, your spirit receives what you see. And then as you put it to practice, it will start operating in your life. See, also at the end of the teaching, as I said, there's a place where I, where I have an activation and impartation service so uh, release your faith and do that with me but you have to act out in boldness and put and put to to practice what you see so make sure that you listen to the audio dvd go through the international training center go through the training center manual because it will this will equip you for leadership the international training center because it covers a lot more as i said the training center this white book is just a summary of the big book so eventually you still have to go through the big book so if you go through the big book and start with it already it will be good because you will have covered 
you know, the small book in it, and also gone through the big one as well. Now, if you would love to support um, the movement, there, there's the account number. You want to become a partner or, and support it financially or with whatever gift you want to support with, there you can support us. And please, after depositing your gift, please give us a call or actually give us an SMS. SMS me on that number that you see because then I can respond to you. I want to know our partners personally. So please, uh, as, a, as your reference, send your, your name and your phone number as a reference so that we can get back to you. Also, the partnership information, the bank details and my, my cell numbers are all on the, on the audio DVD and, both the, and the practical DVD as well, even in the book. So, please enjoy the DVD, but I want you to know that you can move in the same grace that you see, the same gifts, the same miracles. I've explained everything in the audio DVD. Make sure that you listen to all of it. It will just empower thoroughly. It will help you to read the Bible correctly. It's just loaded. Okay, right now, I want you to, to just see the signs that took place as people read the books. Because the Lord showed me that he's backed up this book with power to show people that it's from him. You know, after I wrote the book, somebody saw a vision of the Lord appearing and smoke filled the place where we were. And then she said, and then the Lord said, tell, tell Mufarum Apostle that I'm pleased with the book that he wrote because it's from me, it's going to help many lives. So now, as I was preaching and operating in one service of mine, the Lord gave me a revelation that, listen, start demonstrating my authority in this book. This book, it just explains the Bible. There's nothing, there's nothing spooky about it. There's nothing miraculous about it, except that it's just the message of the Bible simplified for you so that you can understand it. So here are some clips where people were healed by reading the books. I mean, we have, we have people healed from breast cancer just by reading the book. Some people were healed from, from paralysis, you know. Here you'll see somebody who couldn't lift their hands. Many miracles took place as people were reading the book because the Lord said that he's backed up these books with signs so that people, signs of the Holy Spirit, so that people will know that it's from him. So right now, just watch these clips. Faith 
we might have had Hauptschule in the Egypt of Holy Spirit, Hauptschule here of God, you know, the whole in the new covenant, who you are in Christ, whole lot. So that was a demonstration for you to the Bible. So you can sit down, thank you, right? So many people receive supernatural empowerment as they read the book. Some people receive divine revelation, you know, supernatural guidance. Some people have received healings as you've, as you've seen already. So make sure that you read the whole manual. You have to read the whole of it. Some people just read a portion and then they say they haven't sensed any change in their lives. You have to read the whole manual. The power is in the message behind the book. The power is not in the paper, it's in the message. So don't, don't, don't put the book under your pillow when you sleep. You know, don't take pay, a page of the book and then put it where you, where you have the pain. You have to read the book. The power is in the message. It's not in the paper. It's the message of the Bible. This book is just explains the Bible as it is. So it just makes you, it just makes it easy for you to understand the Bible. How on Zobala would you wait Yes, ma'am. So you say yesterday you bought the manual, and as you were reading yes. the manual, you said what happened? I read the manual hmm. at home. Yeah. While I was busy reading the manual, I felt pain hmm. at my back at, at this side. Hmm. Then. And you say this pain has been on you for years. Yeah, it's, it's been on me for years. Hmm. Yeah. But this year it was worse. Worse. Then yesterday, and I, after hearing the, the pains, I lie down on bed. Mm. Then after a while, something told me that go and take your bucket. Mm. Then I, I, when I take a bucket, I hear something ca come out of me, mm. a, a, a big thing. Mm. Then I started, I was looking at the thing. Then I said, you, this thing, I never, this thing can get out of me. Mm. Then I take my phone and then I said, record it. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to look at the phone, it wasn't that clear. You said it was like a, a, lever. a lever. Thank you, Cosieta. I'm going to ask you to read. Just a small portion. 
in the manual that God said I must write for this manual will help your spiritual life to grow the Bible doesn't say people perish because of lack of of oil or water I'm not against them against them oil and water but the Bible says people think it's because of lack of knowledge. Or people just want something they will drink. And they will not help you for that moment. But knowledge will help you permanently. So now God knows that people are lazy to read. He said, I will take the manual with power. So that he will encourage them to read. Just uh, I'm not going to pray for you. Eh? I'm just saying she was really talks about faith. So see what will happen. Praise the Lord. Then I'm going to pray for men here. Then I'll teach. What if you call somebody to the front? What a wheelchair. I don't know I'm not gonna try out something. Have you got lick and treating? I've already heard from above. Praise the Lord. And uh, the manual. Me manual will teach you. It's our router. How to hear the voice of God clearly. So today, if you don't just want to lay hands on you, you will not come out of your routine tablets. You must get something to benefit your spiritual life forever. But Kamila Rufumane, what are you talking about? Praise the Lord. Are you still excited? Yeah, I just love to minister to people and to the Lord. So go look at up. Thirty seconds this time, maybe you'll be done. Holy Spirit is powerful. Ah, me onu kid. Where's the lamp? 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 Then I go with a full pocket. I'm gonna use some of the things. And the Lord shall be praised. Who is that? Hey, what's happening? This was demonic. In China, they look demonic. Now the Lord is delivering you. Don't say that. 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 She feels sick all over the body. That is the fire of God bringing deliverance on this thing. This is a work of witchcraft. And you know what? Whoever is responsible, it's baking fire. Kutlekibana, 
demonstrate and teach a bit on the teachings in this book but this is a practical DVD so it's mostly demonstrations if you want the the, the theological part of it or the the teachings you'll get them in the audio DVD where I'm teaching everything so right now I just want to explain the the nature of a son of God the Bible says that as sons of God we have the nature that looks like God's nature this nature is called the divine nature as a believer you have two natures you have the divine nature in your spirit and then you have the human nature in your physical body. The Bible reveals a person as a three-part being, a spirit that has a soul and lives in a physical body. So the spirit has the nature of God, which is called the divine nature, if a person is born again. But it has the sin nature if a person is not born again. And the physical body has the human nature. The human nature is the same in both people who are born again and who are not born again. They only differ in their spirit natures. The Bible makes it clear that the person who is not born again has the sin nature in his spirit, but he has the same human nature in his physical body. We are the same with unbelievers in our physical bodies, but in our spiritual 
bodies or spiritual natures, we are different. If you are born again, you have the nature that looks like God's nature because God gave birth to you. The Bible makes it clear that through the second birth, we were, we were given the divine nature of God. Let me explain this this way. We know that a cat gives birth to a kitten, but they have the same nature. A dog gives birth to a puppy. They have the same nature. The small dog can bark just like the big dog. A cow will give birth to a small cow. They are exactly the same. The only difference is that the other one is the older cow, the other one is the younger cow. Humans will give birth to humans, right? When you give birth to your child, we are humanly speaking now. Your child has the same nature like you do. Maybe you may, know, you may not look alike facially, but you have the same nature. The small child can think, he can, he can cry, he, can, he has emotions, exactly what you have as, a, as, as the parent. The same with God. When God gave birth to us, when we got born again, by believing in Christ and confessing His Lordship in our lives, we were given the nature of God in our spirits. The sin nature was taken away and we were given a new divine nature. So God gave birth to a son of God. We are exactly like Him in our spirits. The only difference is that He is the Father and we are the sons. And remember that when I'm talking about sons, I'm not talking about gender. If you want to use gender, you can say sons or daughters, it's fine. The Bible, when it says sons of God, it's talking about inheritance, not gender. So, we have exactly the same nature as God, the same love that God has. The Bible says we have the same faith. We have it. It's given to us from the time when we are born again. So it's wrong for you to pray and say, God, please give me faith because you already have faith from the time when you are born again. You cannot say, God, give me love because you already have love. The fruit of the Spirit is part of your nature. We know the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, gentleness, and self-control. All whatever, all that God has is, in his nature is given to us as well. So right now, I just want you to see this demonstration of the human nature and the divine nature. And then, I want you to see the testimonies of people who saw, who, saw, who saw the divine nature as I was operating. God has also given us the grace to manifest the divine nature outside in this movement. Just watch these clips now. So now, God gave birth to a son or daughter of God. So in the spirit, you are like him. The only difference is that he is the father and you are the son. But you have exactly the same nature. The same faith that God has, you have it. And you were born again with it. It's part of your nature. Things like love and joy, the fruit of the spirit, is part of your recreated human spirit. Right? So you don't have to say, please God, give me faith. Uh, let me show you. Can I, can I demonstrate to you, man? Can I just demonstrate the two natures? Just the gift. Just the gift. Can you hold my hand? Watch this. She's holding Ufaruma Posa. Ufaruma Posa is the house that I live in. Right? Ah, it's a lot of Posa is the house that I live in. That's not me. It's the house that I live in. The real me is the spirit who has the nature of God. So now, can I have an answer, please? Can I have an answer in your hand? Just to speak. Now she's holding the house that I live in, Ufaruma Posa. It's the human nature. And with the human nature, we go to the bathroom, we eat, where is the human nature? And that's the house, it's not the real you. Now I switch my natures and use the divine nature, the one who is born of God. And in the spiritual realm, my name is not before my father, because that was given by my parents. God, the Bible says, you will reveal to us our, our names later on. So now, just bring my friends. Now I, I, I reveal the, the divine nature, see what's happening. That, that's the real nature. Just, just play up. Just play up this. Huh? Just like that. Maybe you have to watch. Shout. Even more often. Even? Yeah. Now, she's looking at Mufaruma Posa. Mufaruma Posa is the house that I live in. The one who is in the soul. Now I switch the natures. And I, I start to manifest my real nature. The one who is giving birth to God. He moves. If you were to see in the spirit, you would see me shining. The same to you as well. Now, this is the real nature. Watch. See, I start to manifest the real self. Can, can you say I have two natures? The divine nature and the human nature. The divine nature means the God kind of nature. Because God gave birth to you. If you were to look at me in the spiritual world, in the spiritual realm, or look at another believer, somebody who's born again, who's been, who, who's, 
who has the nature of God. I mean, like when you are born again, God gave birth to you, so you have His nature in you. His exact same nature that He has, the same life called the Zoe, God kind of life. They are all the, in the teachings. We have the same nature. So right now, if you were to look at me in the spiritual realm, you will see me shining with the glory of God. Because we are, we are like him. If God was to stand here next to me, and I'll stand here, you'll see that these people are the same. The, the same glory is shining from them. You know, the same nature, the same everything. The only difference is that this one is the child, this one is the father. That's the only difference between us and God. So right now, I just want you to see the demonstration of the divine nature. <laughs> Hanya <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's see the operation of the sun. We say because the sun has a nature that looks exactly like of that of the father, he's able to operate like the father because of this divine nature within his spirit. John 5, verse 19, Jesus says. Then Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees is the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son can do in like manner. Listen, Jesus says, I, I, can, look what, I can look at the Father and do what he does, because we have the same nature. So right now, I can see what God does, then I imitate him and get the same results. The Bible says, be imitators of God. Because we have the same nature, same ability. Amen. Let's see. The, the divine operation or the faith operation of the Son of God is divided into five steps. It took me three years to receive the revelation of these five steps. Well, this is this teaching is the base of the movement that God is using me to raise. The movement, if you can go to our website, it's called www.manifestsons.co.cc for manifest sons of God. Right? So the way the Lord goes into me, I didn't really understand but the whole package came here in three years. So let's see. Number one, God believes in his heart and thinks in his mind. And whatever he thinks happens according to his thoughts of faith. The son also believes in his heart and thinks in his mind and things happen according to his thoughts of faith. That's the best step of divine operation. I want to demonstrate it. You have to know that your thoughts are realities in the spiritual realm. Yeah. Right? The Bible says he's able to do more than he can ask or even think. Amen. So, let's see. Let me show you an example. Let me volunteer. Anyone? Just tell me where you are. I'm just going to think the power of God on me. Right? Are you going to feel anything now? Right, watch it. Just to show that I'm thinking, all you can do is get it. Look at this. What do you feel? 
Now, I'm going to increase the intensity of the power of God through my thoughts. She's going to follow around here. Just watch it. Just increase the intensity. What is happening? It's like a force. That one is being activated by my thoughts. It's not my power. It's the power of God released by faith, directed by the mind. It's not my power. Right? I mean, one time I was in a bank and somebody, this lady told me that the husband had hit her and now she had a painful hand. And you know, in the bank, I cannot just lay hands on her. So I asked her, no, keep on writing. I just decided to release the healing power of God through my thoughts. This is the little thing I've gone. Your thoughts are realities in the realm of the spirit. As the man thinks in his heart, so is he. So don't, 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 don't think your secret. Don't think it's just my secret that I, I, I have a lot of self-esteem. You know, in the reality, in the spiritual realm, you know, cause that reality to manifest. Even, even though you think it's your secret. Listen. Learn to think what God thinks about you. This thing that we're teaching, let them be on your mind. Speak them when you wake up on my son, my daughter, I have authority. So, if somebody has a sickness, you can just think he doesn't be healed. You know? And I know I remember being like that. If somebody has a pain, and I said, I thought you were healed. Then the pain disappears. No, I thought you were <laughs> Right. The second step. Because we are like the Father. This is the divine nature. Right. Number two. God believes in his heart and takes actions of faith and things happen according to his actions of faith. The son also believes in his heart and takes actions of faith and then things happen according to his actions of faith. So God, when you pray, he seated on his throne, let's say he wants something to happen. Okay, that's the of this year, there's an action of faith. You know, he decides what he wants, then he doesn't end. Then that thing will happen according to his action of faith. For the son of the same way. I believe in my heart, I act in faith. Like when I do my head like this and somebody, you know, starts holding or whatever. It's an action of faith. Let me demonstrate to you with somebody. Anybody want to just say, just say, you? Yeah. Watch. Just, just, just do this. Yeah, just like that. Just watch. This is an action of faith. <laughs> Just that day, I'll use it for an hour. Just it here, I'll use it for an hour. So, every action of faith counts in the spiritual realm. Maybe you might not see a reaction instantly, but something has been started. Number three, the one that Jesus revealed. Number three, God believes in his heart and speaks with his mouth and things according, happen according to his words of faith. The son also believes and speaks, believes in his heart and speaks words of faith and things happen according to his words of faith. That's what Jesus said. If you believe and speak, you shall hear. You reveal that last day. Remember, faith you speak the past and the present, like you are healed when you are being healed. Not you will be healed. That's not the problem. That hope. So here you speak what you believe and then you shall hear it. I mean, that one might demonstrate. Let me show you a word of faith. Let me see. Somebody, can I take you just a minute? Okay. One day I was, I was on the street and I decided to demonstrate the power of God. So I said to this guy, listen, right now as I speak, your friend will fall down. You will not, I guess they don't know what I'm talking about. He's going to fall down, so please catch him when he falls. Then I said, there he goes. This guy collapsed. This is on the street. The friend ran away. <laughs> I just said, hey, come, your friend is okay. So right now, let me show you words of faith. Once you start speaking in faith, I'm telling you, the angels listen. Well, the, the response is, every time you are, you are being listened to, but the question is, how much do you believe? Mm-hmm. So now as I'm speaking, I mean, the lady will not know what has happened. She will fall down sideways, you know? She should wake up on the ground. I'm just declaring what will happen. Now, there it goes, you see, it has happened. You have to say, it has happened. Now. Now. Now, 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 now. It has happened. Now, now. Just, 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 